Hey gang, this is Yanni. You guys are inside the fisherman's belly. I'm inside your computer, and right now I'm heading out to the local Asian market. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not in the kitchen cooking. I can't cook because I gotta go to Wrench 99 and go get basic ingredients to make sushi. So why did I decide to make sushi? Well, I've got two good friends of mine, Audie and Andy, who simply cannot make sushi. They can catch fish all day long. When it comes to sushi, they either have to go to a sushi bar and go enjoy sushi or bring the fresh fish to their friends and watch them make sushi and get a small portion of their fish. I'm here today to teach Andy, Audie, and anybody else the basics of making sushi. So Andy and Adi, I'm introducing you guys to Fisherman's Sushi 101. All right, here we are on our sushi expedition at the Asian market. Ranch 99, they got everything we need. Let's go. Ah, here's our rice vinegar. This is my favorite, Bhutan. Cal Rose rice, this is the stuff right here. If you want to take the healthy route, here's the brown rice, or the white rice, the traditional route. This is what I'm going for right here. And here's our bamboo mat. This is our rolling mat. We need one of these. Look how inexpensive this is, $1.19 for these guys. Here it is. This is awesome stuff, can't wait. Wait till you see what this does. Here we go with pickled ginger. Definitely need this. And here we are in the seaweed section. This is basically what we need. Huh. For less than two bucks, we end up with 10 sheets of nori. Here's our sesame seed collection. I want black sesame seeds. Let's see. All right, this is exactly what I want. Here's the soy sauce. Love Kikkoman soy sauce. It's just, this is the traditional sauce. There are a lot of other sauces available, but they've just got this weird taste. When it comes to buying wasabi, I always prefer powdered wasabi as opposed to the pre-made paste. Powdered wasabi just tastes so much better. It tastes like fresh root, so. All right, gang, I am back from Ranch 99. I got dressed up. I'm ready to cook. I even have a sushi apron that my wife got me. Whatever, whatever, anyway. So listen, we are gonna put together the basics of sushi. And we're gonna start off with sushi rice, which is fundamental, super easy. Once you guys learn this, you're gonna do it all the time. Sushi rice can be so easy to make. And then we're gonna start off with the most simplest, I think, of the sushi family, and that is the maki rolls. Everybody knows the maki rolls, the seaweed rolls. So we're gonna create a wonderful maki roll and we're gonna create an inside out maki roll. We're gonna start off with a cup and a quarter of rice. We're gonna start off with a cup and a half of water. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna make our rice wine vinegar sauce that's gonna go on top of our sushi rice. So let's start off. First of all, let's get a cup and a half of water boiling and then we're gonna add and we're gonna clean up our rice and add it to it. So let me show you how to clean the rice. Okay, we need a cup and a quarter of rice. There's one cup. And here's a quarter cup. All right, what we have to do is actually wash this by hand. This is a very important step. You need to do this, otherwise your rice will be too sticky. See how it turns milky white? See that? All right, we do this three times. See, there's a lot less cloudy water. All right, it looks like the water's boiling. Let's put the rice in, Opa. Okay, I haven't added any salt yet, so I'm gonna give it a pinch of salt. Just a small pinch, that's enough. Put the lid back on it. And now this is gonna cook for exactly 10 minutes at a slow, low heat. As low as we can get it. Okay, you guys, it's time to make the sushi rice seasoning. And that's simply two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Two, one tablespoon of sugar. There we go. And a pinch of salt. And now we have to stir this. And there we go. All done. 
Oh look, it's time to turn off the fire on the rice and then we're gonna let it sit with the lid on it for exactly 10 minutes. So this has been sitting for about 10 or 15 minutes, time to take off the lid. And we're gonna put this rice in a non-reactive bowl. And the reason is because our rice seasoning is made with vinegar. So here we go. Okay. So I like to do things the traditional proper way. It's just part of cooking, it's part of the fun. Tradition is in a wooden bowl. I don't have a wooden bowl, but this ceramic bowl will be fine. But also tradition calls for a wooden spatula to help break up the rice. You've got to be gentle and just kind of tear this apart carefully and let this rice cool off. All right, and now we're going to add our vinegar seasoning. So here we go. There we go. So we're going to continue to break this apart and let it cool off while mixing that seasoning in. And I'd say in about five minutes, this is going to be cool enough for us to handle and start assembling our maki rolls. All right, gang, in preparation for our rolls, I'm going to start preparing our vegetables. So here I've got a gardened cucumber. Oh, yeah. I also have a, a mango that I cut. I take my paring knife and cut out some of this mango and put that in our maki roll. All right, all right, the only thing left now is to cut the tuna. Perfect. Wow, that's what we want. Per all right, gang, remember our bamboo rolling uh, mat here? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Ziploc bag, open it up, and I'm going to put this in there. Just be patient. I'll show you what I'm doing. Just like that. Okay, great. Okay, I've got a nori sheet here. I'm not going to use the full-size nori sheet. I'm going to use three quarters of it. So I'm going to go to the second line from the edge and I'm going to fold it over. Just like that. Then I'm going to tear this. All right. Put our nori on top of that and I'm going to put it right to the edge here. The only way you ever deal with this rice is with wet hands. So I'm going to wet this hand. Okay, I got both my hands are wet. You have to have wet hands, otherwise the rice will stick all over you. Okay, I'm gonna grab a fistful. I'm, I don't need a lot. I'm gonna take this and put it right here on the edge, and I'm gonna, with my fingers, oh, see it's starting to stick. I'm gonna bring the rice to three edges. The edges closest to me, the edges to the right, to the left of me, and then I'm gonna bring the rice up to about an inch from the top edge. That's very important. And I'm trying to get an even thickness with this rice here. Take a look at this open lip here. You see that? We're going to roll the maki roll and it's going to it's going to seal on this edge. That's why we don't have any rice there. But we need a glue. And our glue is going to be a little bit of rice that we smear with our fingers right along the edge. See that? All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to place these cucumbers right here in the middle, just like that. Then we're going to take a piece of this wonderful yellowfin tuna, put that right in the middle. We're going to grab some of this beautiful mango, put that right in the middle. All right, I'm going to, with my fingers, I'm going to start to pull up the edge of the bamboo mat, but I'm also going to keep this compressed and in the middle, and I'm going to start to roll. Okay. I'm going to stop and then I'm going to continue to roll. I'm going to draw the mat forward and continue to roll. And that should be it. With a little bit of compression with both the right and the left hand. <laughs> Voila! Take a look at that. Oh my God. Look, 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 look. Oh my God. Perfect. Compress that in there. Compress that in there. Perfect. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to slice it, but what I need to do is I need to have a wet, clean knife at all times in between all my slicing. Dip my knife in a little bit of water, turn it upside down, make sure that water gets all over the blade. First cut's going to be dead center. Perfect. Put these together and now we're going to go and cut these into thirds. More water. Here we go. First cut. More water. And the final cut. Perfect. Wow. Fellas, oh my god. Wait, wait till you see this. Ha. Huh. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that. Oh my god. There it is, you guys. Wow. Wow, I wish I could tell you straight out of the fisherman's belly and into your belly, but we're not done. We're going to make an inside out roll. Okay, standard sheet of nori. By the way, glossy side goes down. Glossy side always goes down. Okay, I'm going to cut three quarters of it off, or I'm going to cut a fourth of it off. Here we go. Second line from the top. Fold. Okay. Okay, we're not going to bring out the bamboo sheet right now, but we are going to wet our hands because it's time to play with the rice. Wet our hands. Grab a clump of rice and put it right there. Alright, we have to have wet fingers to do this. Now, with the inside out roll, we have to use put the rice all the way to the edge. So I'm going to bring a little more rice into the game. So we're going edge to edge to edge to edge. Now we're going to play with the bro. Remember the bro? I love this stuff. It tastes, has a very mild egg taste to it. Definitely not fishy. Definitely not fishy. On a fork. See how I'm using this fork? It's going to give this an insane taste and an insane color wall to wall. That's fine. Perfect. Okay. Now what about the black sesame seeds I got? Whoa, whoa. Now we're going to take this and put it upside down on the mat. Now you're going to think that all this is going to fall off. It's not. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Perfect. Look at that. Without a lot of spillage. That's not bad. Cucumber, bingo, and this time red peppers that I've cut up into strips. Edge to edge, everything's got to be centered and nice, okay? Now for the tuna. Perfect. Wow. Okay, now we're going to roll. We're going to lift up the edge. We're going to keep our fingers on this and tuck it. Tuck this over and we're gonna roll. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take this off. Put it right there. And we're gonna slice it up. Oh my god. Right in half. First cut. Wet our knife. Into thirds. All right, fellas, there we have it. First class is over. Rice, traditional maki roll, traditional inside out maki roll. There we go. Have at it, boys. Enjoy, go out there and make your own sushi, and tune in for our next session at Fisherman's Sushi 101.